Hi, this is Sean. And this is Tim. All right, so here we're helping Kara out with this problem. And Tim, do you want to tell us what the problem is all about? Yeah. So here we have a circle and a square ins inscribed inside the circle. And we want to find the shaded region, which is outside of the square but inside of the circle. So I'll highlight that, the shaded regions here. And we're trying to find what that area is. And you said we have a circle and a square inside. So right. what's your first step, Tim? Well, first I would find the area of the circle. And here we're given that AC is 8, and AC we see is the diagonal of the square. But this is also, since it crosses the, the um, center, we know it's also the diameter. And since we know that the radius is half of the diameter, we know the radius of the circle is 4. Okay, so the diameter is 8, and the radius is half of that, so the radius is just 4. Right. Okay, how does that help us? Well, this helps us because we need the radius to find the area, since the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. Right, so oops, <laughs> the area of a circle right, is pi r squared. So what's our area of this circle? It would be pi times 4 squared, which is 16 pi. Okay, and that's 16 pi. I'm just going to, instead of pi times 16, I'll write 16 pi. Now, how would you deal with the area of the square? Because we want to know that as well. Well, since we know that all the angles in a square are 90 degree angles, and that the diagonal bisects these angles, that means they cut them in half, we know that each of those angles are now 45 degree angles. So 45, 45, and this is a 90 degree angle. Right. So now what do we do? So this gives us a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and we know that the ratio of a leg of a 45, 45, 90 triangle to the hypotenuse is 1 to square root of 2. So if we, took, if we had the leg, we'd multiply it by square root of 2, and that would give us the hypotenuse which is the uh, diameter here as well. Right. Okay. But since we have the hypotenuse and we're trying to find the leg, instead of multiplying by square root of 2, we divide by square root of 2. So 8 divided by radical 2. Now, a lot of students here try to rationalize, but I would say to them, well, if we're trying to find the area of a square, right, this is a leg of the triangle, which of course is also this leg right here of a square. To find the area, we multiply one by the other, and I don't think we really, we really need to even rationalize because when we multiply these two, it'll take care of it. What do you think? I agree. So what do we get then? This is the area of the square now. So the numerator would be 8 times 8, which is 64. Yep. Oh. And then the denominator, square root of 2 times square root of 2, is just 2. Right. And 64 over 2 is 32. Now we're almost done. Um, we're trying to find the shaded region. We have the area of the square, 32, and the area of the circle, 16 pi. What's the last step, Tim? Well, the last step is that we need to subtract the inner shape from the outer shape, the oh, outer okay. shape being the circle. All right, so um, then I'm going to take 16 pi, or circle, minus 32. And if we estimate pi to about 3, we, I think we get 48, all right, 3 times 16 is 48, minus 32, and that's 16, is that right? That's right. Okay, thanks, Tim. Yep, thanks, Sean. Okay.